let's work with solving addition and subtraction equations. Here we have the equation r plus 5 equals 12, and the instructions ask us to solve for the variable. The variable within this equation is r, so we're trying to figure out the value of r. What we're going to do is we're going to use an inverse operation. And then so we're going to look at this. It says r plus 5. Now the inverse operation, or the opposite of plus 5, is going to be to subtract 5. And then so I will rewrite this equation, but I'm rewriting the equation where I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides of the equation. So I've subtracted 5 from the r plus 5, and that's r plus 5 minus 5. And again, I have to subtract 5 from the other side of the equation as well. And then so that's rewritten as 12 minus 5. r plus 5 minus 5. 5 minus 5 is already 0. So I'll rewrite the left-hand side of the equation as r plus 0. 12 minus 5 is 7. r, and if we just add 0 to any number, like r, we're just left with r r equals 7. I'll box that. That's my solution for this problem. r equals 7. Hey, plugging this in, 7 plus 5 does equal 12. So here I've shown my work to solve for the variable. Here's that same type of problem. It says e plus 6 equals 19, and again we're solving for the variable. What would we subtract from each side of the equation? Did you say 6? Hopefully you did. So we're using the opposite of this here, or the inverse. Add 6, subtract 6. Subtract 6 from one side, you must subtract 6 from the other side as well. So here, minus 6, minus 6 e plus 6 minus 6 will just leave us with e. I'll show you the work for that. And 19 minus 6 is 13. So that e equals 13. I'll box that. And think about it. 13 plus 6. Yep. Does that equal 19? Yes, it does. This type of problem is completed in much the same way. 7 plus d equals 20 could be rewritten because of the commutative property of addition as d plus 7 equals 20. And then we've got the plus 7 on this side, which is extra at this point, because we want to put only have our variable on that left-hand side. So what we do is we do the opposite of plus 7, which is to subtract 7 from each side of the equation. 7 minus 7 is 0, we, so we end up with d plus 0, which just gives us d. And d equals 20 minus 7, which is 13. Looking back at that original equation again, 7 plus 13, does it equal 20? Yes, it does. If I needed to show my check, I could. I put a question mark over the equal sign. I plugged in that value of 13 for d, so it says 7 plus 13 equaling 20. And I evaluate each side, so that 20 equals 20, and that's a check mark. Shown check. That's my check work. This is my solution. All right, it's your turn. Go ahead and solve for the variable. There are two variables to solve for. Do one problem at a time. Please show your work. Go ahead and hit pause. Remember to show your work. For that first problem, I'll subtract 7 from both sides. a plus 7 minus 7, that just leaves us with a. 13 minus 7 is 6, so that a equals 6. I have a little bit more room down here to show my work as I did before. Rewrite 8 plus b as b plus 8. Subtract 8. 
what I do on one side, I must do on the other as well. And then so I have 20 minus 8. b plus 8 minus 8, 8 minus 8 is 0. So that's b plus 0, which just leaves us with b. And b equaling 20 minus 8, which is 12. Looking back, 12, hey, 8 plus 12, yep, it does equal 20. Looking back, 6 plus 7, yep, it does equal 13. Here's another problem. You'll notice this time I'm subtracting a number, subtracting 6 from some number. So it's d minus 6 equaling 9, and so I'm trying to solve for the variable. Now, I'm going to look here, and I see this. It says minus 6, and then so in this case here, I'm going to do the opposite of subtracting 6. So now I'm going to add 6 to both sides of the equation, writing it out the same way that I had written it out before. I'll write it out there. Minus 6 plus 6. Basically, I'm just doing a 0 there. That's d. In this case, it's minus 6 plus 6. I would say d plus 0, and that leaves us with d. 9 plus 6 is 15. So d equals 15. Looking back at the original equation, 15. Does 15 minus 6 equal 9? Does 15 minus 6 does it equal 9? And the answer to that is yes. And that's my check work there. Here I have m minus 7 equaling 14. So again, I'm concentrating on this minus 7 right here, and I'm doing the opposite of it. I'm adding 7 to both sides. So m minus 7 plus 7, so I have some number, I take away 7 from it, but then I add 7 to it, I'm just going to be left with m. 14 plus 7 is 21, so m equals 21. Plugging in 21, does 21 minus 7 equal 14? And the answer to that is yes. Here I'm showing that work for my check. This here, again, is my solution for that variable. Okay, it is time for you to try again. Remember for that first one, let's go ahead and, and do the opposite of subtracting 9. Let's add 9 to both sides of that equation. Go ahead and hit pause. Okay, did you get b equaling 16? B, nine, b minus 9 plus 9 would just leave us with b, and 7 plus 9 is 16. For that second problem, again, we're trying to get that variable, the only thing on that side, so we will add 8 to both sides of that equation. 3 plus 8 is 11. r minus 8 plus 8 just leaves us with r. So r equals 11. Looking back at it, does 11 minus 8 equal 3? Yes, it does. Please don't get confused if we see the variable on the other side of the equation. We just concentrate on what we can do. So this says minus 9. Minus 9, that means we add 9 to both sides of the equation. I write it out there c minus 9 plus 9 leaves us with c, and 6 plus 9 is 15, so that 15 is equal to c, or c equals 15, that's our solution. Does 15 minus 9 equal 6? Yes. Lastly is this. If we see a problem like this here, it says 8 minus 2 equals d plus 3. The first thing that we'll do is we'll simplify anything that can be simplified and it can be evaluate 8 minus 2 to get 6. And then so now we are left with a problem here where it says 6 equals d plus 3. 
Again, I want to isolate the variable, meaning I want to go ahead and have the variable it's alone on one side. To get rid of the plus 3, I go ahead and subtract 3 from both sides of that equation. 6 minus 3 leaves us with 3. d plus 3 minus 3 just leaves us with d. d equals 3. Looking back my original equation, 3 plus 3 is 6, and 6 equals 8 minus 2, which is also 6. Again, remember, what you do on one side of the equation, you must do to the other side as well.